Hey guys, so a lot of you have been asking me about uh, 12 volt DC day night switch. I've got one here that I'm going to show you how to connect. It's a bit different from the normal ones. This is an AC DC make model LR5. It's 12 volt DC switching or it's 12 volt DC input and it's a 230 volt switched as well. So you can switch 12 volt, 24 volt or 230 volt, not 400 volt, but uh, it's operating voltage is 12 volt so i'm not sure why you would need 12 volt dc operating voltage and then switch to 30 volt but i'm going to show you that as well okay let's get started so in here you can see the connections positive negative 12 volt dc for the top two then the common normally closed and normally open that's where it actually differs from the uh, normal 230 volt ones. Uh, I'm going to put a diagram up here so you can see how to wire this thing. And uh, yeah, so let me show you wire for wire what we're going to do. I've got my battery this side. It's a normal 12 volt DC battery. Uh, the red pole is always your positive and the black one is the negative. You can also see the uh, stripe and the, and the positive on your batteries. Um, that's where you need to connect your wires this one also has the positive and the negative as does the battery okay so now that i've got my positive and negative from the battery um, i'm going to show you what wire i would use to wire this uh, day night switch it's a four core wire because we're going to use at least four of these points well maybe three in the one instance but four for the 230 volt wiring so if it's out on the corner of a house or something, it would be best to use a four core, otherwise you've got to put in three or two different wires running to it if it's only two core. So I can see the red and the black. I'm going to use that as my positive and negative. As well as on the other side, positive and negative going to the daylight switch. And then for the blue and the, and the white, I'm going to use it to switch on a 12 volt DC light strip that I have. Okay, let's start connecting. Now for my positive, 12 volt positive, the red wire goes in there. And then the black wire is the negative, 12 volt negative, minus. And then the other side of this wire goes to the positive and negative on my battery. I'm just going to twist this wire so you can see the complete picture. So once I connect this, you might hear a click. Nothing spectacular is going to happen. I don't know if you can hear that. It actually switches on if it energizes. And then takes a while and then switches off. So let's leave that disconnected for now. Now my light is going to be this 12 volt DC LED strip. I have this cool green effect going on. So let's see where the positive is. The positive is that side and then the negative is on this side. The reason it has four wires is uh, three of these are used for different colors. Let me show you quickly. See, it lights up green. If I use one of the other ones, it's going to light up blue or red. Let's try one of the other settings on the strip. A nice red one. You can also have a combination of the two. And it's purple. So yeah, just a nice little LED 12 volt. But this is just for testing. So, if I want to switch this 12 volt LED strip, I'm going to use a 12 volt on my common as well. So then I don't need to use both of these wires. So let me just take one wire from positive to common because I want to switch this 12 volt DC LED strip. Okay, so now I've put a little bridge piece in there from the 12 volt DC side to my common. And it's going to switch normally open to my positive of the LED strip.
Okay, so now I'm gonna connect the positive wire to the positive of my battery. It should uh, switch on, the daylight night switch should switch on uh, for a few seconds and then switch off. So let's see if this uh, LED strip lights up. Oh, well, that was quick, but you did see it. Let me turn off the light and see if uh, it actually switches on. There you go, 12 volt switching. Now let's move on to switching 230 volt using the 12 volt uh, day, day night switch. So now I've got my 12 volt day night switch here. Still got my battery this side, positive and negative. I just kept the negative connected here. That's the only thing that's connected and then the positive and the negative here. And then I've left the normally open connected. Now I'm going to switch this uh, LED light. Just going to switch this one on and off. It is a 230 volt. So I'm going to let my day night switch uh, switch this one on and off. Switch it this way around. Got the ground here. Neutral and live. Now if you connect this neutral and live to the 12, it's not going to work. This one needs 230 volt. So what I'm going to do is, this is my 230 volt supply. I'm just going to connect the ground to the ground of the light. And uh, this one to the neutral goes directly there. And then I'm going to switch my live wire through the day night switch. So I'm going to connect one, the common I've got to connect here. So the only wire that I have left is a blue one. So I'm going to select the blue one as the common. Connect it there and then connect it to the common. Your earth wire does not carry any current. Uh, according to law, it should not carry any current. But it is a very important wire. If something goes wrong in here, it does ground the light. So that when you touch it, it does not uh, you get don't get an electric shock, but it rather trips the circuit breaker or blows the fuse. So this is a very important wire, even though it does not carry any current. Uh, current or voltage. That's the earth done. Now the neutral also going to be direct. The only wire that I'm going to use uh, leaf switched is the live. You always want to switch your live and even the neutral. So. If I just connect these two and switch it on, it's only going to turn on the light, not switch it through via the uh, day night switch. So I've got to get this one to my common, which on this this one now is the blue wire. So common connected this side, let's connect the common on this side. And then my normally open. And this side is going to go to my light so that I'm switching the 230 volt using my 12 volt uh, day night switch. Let's get the power to the uh, day night switch, but I do not have power to 230 volt yet. I'm just going to get it in here. You can hear it click on and almost immediately off again. It really does stay on a lot shorter with the initial power than the 230 volts. Okay, so now I'm going to switch on a 230 circuit, which is going to be switched by this one, and then turn off the lights and see if it works. There you go. Switching a 230-volt LED light with a 12-volt DC day-night switch. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next episode.